Problem number two involves finding the limit of the nth term of a sequence when that term is a quotient of two functions. Let's get started. For this problem, I see that a sub n is a quotient equal to a continuous function f of x for all positive n. And because a sub n is a quotient, I suspect I will find the limit of a sequence using L'Hopital's rule. Let f of x be a continuous function so that a sub n equals f of x for all positive n. Repeat L'Hopital's rule for f of x until we find the limit of f of x as x approaches infinity, so that the resulting limit is not expressed as an indeterminate form. We begin by finding the limit of f of x by direct substitution, in which case we find our result is an indeterminate form. So now we apply L'Hopital's rule for the first time. By L'Hopital's rule, we know that if by direct substitution, the limit of a function f of x takes an indeterminate form, then the limit of f of x equals the limit of a new function defined as the derivative of the numerator divided by the derivative of the denominator. Unfortunately, the result from applying L'Hopital's rule first time is yet another indeterminate form. Therefore, we must apply L'Hopital's rule a second time. As before, we apply L'Hopital's rule by taking the derivative of the numerator and denominator individually, then finding a new limit by direct substitution. Unfortunately, again, the result of our second application of L'Hopital's rule is yet another indeterminate form. Applying L'Hopital's rule a third time will do the trick. Upon our third application of L'Hopital's rule, the result is a limit of zero. Finally, by the theorem for the limit of a sequence, we can say that the limit of a sub n equals the limit of f of x equals to zero. 